legend around these parts of Georgia. Oh no, he doesn't run around with a football like this big guy from Johnson County. And he's not adept at dunking a basketball. But bulldog lovers love this New York resident, cause when someone says to Jack Davis, how about them dogs? He says, I draw them dogs. I want to go back to you, Since 1976, Jack Davis has created the bulldog billboard seen all over the state for his alma mater, the University of Georgia. And you can always recognize the style, flailing feet, animated hands, crazed expression, a study in manic action. And Jack earns not a penny from his bulldog art. It is the labor of love from an Atlanta native. I would uh, draw uh, posters and things, and I, and I really was not uh, a very good student. I would sit the back of the room and draw pictures and not listen to the teacher, but I'd always come through with some kind of a drawing that got me through uh, grammar school and then through high school. I, I did work on the uh, annual like a lot of kids do, and, uh, and the war came along, and I had to uh, go into the Navy for about three years. Following the war, Jack enrolled in Athens and pledged as an SAE. We went with Jack back to campus as he revisited his old house. Because we started it. When I was here, we started the Magnolia Ball. We sent up to, uh, up to New York and to some theater place. We got all these Confederate And I wanted to be a cartoonist. My last year, I, I took in New York at the Art Students League and uh, would look for work during the day and go to school at night. It was when he left for New York pursuing his career in art that he met William Gaines, and Jack Davis became one of the founding fathers of a three-letter phenomenon, MAD. We came up with a sort of a humor magazine here on campus uh, that uh, it's like a mad in a way. We'd take off on ads and get local ads and things. And I'm not saying it developed from other bullshit that we put out, but it uh, uh, it did uh, start from a satire, almost like the uh, the Princeton Lampoon. It was his work with Mad that led to artwork for other magazines, including Life, TV Guide, and Sports Illustrated. In 1972, he did a football cover for Time Magazine. I was so excited about it, and I love football anyway, and I said, well, that's it. And they all, all of a sudden, when they get into a jam, they need some artwork real fast, and this goes back to turning out my work uh, so quick that uh, I could turn out a cover for a time overnight. Jack eventually did a record 30 covers for time. He considers it the high point of his career. It was about this time that daughter Katie was off to attend the University of Georgia, and Jack offered his services to the team. I had connections with the athletic department at Lawrence Smith, and we started, and I wanted to do something for the school. And I'm a big Bulldog fan, and so I thought about doing the Bulldog in a Bulldog helmet and, and the uniform with that number one on there. And the first Bulldogs, I only put the year of the, that I was doing the billboards, but the number one bit came about when they started, you know, getting close to home with that. One of his many admirers is the head dog, Vince Dooley. I think the most important thing is, is the bulldog because that's the, the symbol and the spirit uh, uh, of, uh, of Georgia, and uh, he's really helped to promote that, and we can't thank him enough. Well, I, I enjoy doing it. It's a real pleasure. I get a thrill out of it all the time. Every time I come down here. My daughter's name I always put on the bandages uh, on the football players, and she was married in October. And I put his name on there now. It's Chris. My style, I, I loved uh, Walt Disney uh, way back, and they always had big feet. Goofy had big feet, Dippy Dog, uh, Donald Duck had big feet and big mouth, and, and then along came the Big Bad Wolf, and he had a very expressive hands and feet. And I think if you want to show action, it's got to come in your feet and in your hands. And uh, I've always liked sports, and I think a, a cartoonist 
uh, whatever he does, has got to have a feeling for action. And he's got to be hit a couple of times and know how, to, how it feels to be hit. When he's not drawing, which is rarely, Jack enjoys golf, fishing, and he teaches Sunday school. At 57, he remains as energetic as ever, never looking to slow down. I love to play golf, and I am the worst golfer in the world. And I come back down here and I play with my buddies, and they're all 18, 11 handicaps, and I'm a 24. And they, um, they give me a hard time. I love kids, I, I, and I love to see people laugh. And I love to play jokes on people, kid people, always. And uh, but I think if you're going to be a cartoonist, to be in a humor, then you've got to kind of have a childish <laughs> sense of humor. Maybe what makes Jack Davis's work so special is that his heart is in his art. And it's a heart that pumps red and black. Uh, I have a lot of faith, and it comes through. Oh!